So let's talk about the Cisco Catalyst and Meraki integration that was announced last week at Live. And I have been waiting for this for a very long time. I take it this is Todd Nightingale's doing. And for that, I thank him a lot because we are finally doing something that makes sense when it comes to bringing Meraki and Catalyst together. It's been very interesting in the field trying to talk to customers whether they should go with Meraki or they should go with Catalyst. Now you get the best of both worlds, which is awesome. I wish we did this 10 years ago. I've been asking for it really since we acquired Meraki back in 2011 or whatever it was. So let's talk about what was announced. And there's two different announcements here that we'll talk about, one, one on the wireless and one on the switching. So on the switching front, what are we going to be able to do? We're going to be able to take Catalyst 9300 switches and I'm going to be able to register them to the Meraki cloud. Now, there's going to be two flavors of that. There's going to be a monitoring flavor and a fully registered flavor or a configuration flavor of it. If I am in monitoring mode, basically, I'm still going to be configuring my Catalyst 9300 just like I normally would, CLI or whatever tools I'm using, but it's going to be reporting into the Meraki dashboard and I can get statistics on what's going on with that switch. The other mode here, the fully managed mode is I'm going to take that 9300 and I'm going to flip the code on it. And I'm going to actually put a Meraki operating system on there. And essentially I'm going to turn it into an MS390. Then it's going to register to the Meraki dashboard, just like a Meraki MS390 or any other switch and be able to do my full configuration in there. Now there's some talks about bringing this to other variations of switching as well, like the 9200, um, but I think that's gonna be more on the monitoring side only. I don't think you're gonna be able to flip that into the configuration side and really be able to suck that into the dashboard to do everything the dashboard can do. So that's the first announcement. The second announcement around the wireless is these new CW access points that came out. And these things are really cool because we can finally buy one piece of hardware and I can register it to the Meraki cloud or I can register it to my private cloud, my 9800 controllers. So if I'm going to 9800 controllers, you know, nothing changes, they're on premise, but I can go in there and I can flip the code around on those APs and then re-register re those up to the Meraki dashboard. Again, these are things I've been waiting for forever. I no longer have to try to convince people to go one way or the other, buy this AP that's gonna be able to do whichever way you wanna go. If you wanna start on premise today because you already have controllers there and you eventually wanna migrate up to the cloud and that's gonna be right for organization, you can do that. You don't have to rip and replace your access points or even your switches out to migrate to the cloud. So again, if this is Todd's doing, I don't know, I appreciate it, but guys, this is definitely a step in the right direction and I am super excited that this was announced at Cisco Live.